Today I'm going to show you how to program your sign with software version 3.56. If your sign is wireless, connect to it the same way you would connect to any wireless hotspot. Down at the bottom right, press the Network and Sharing Center, and you should find your sign's Wi-Fi signal right here. After you've successfully connected, click into the LED Control System folder, right-click Start LED V3, and press Run as Administrator to avoid any problems. If there isn't already a program, click on the Program button. You need this in order to program any sort of media into your sign. After you've done that, press on the Subtitle button. This is the simplest way to program a message into your sign. As you can see, the box is not that big. If we click and drag on one of the corners, we can make it any size we want. You can either have you can have more than one, or you could keep it simple and just have one. Typically, a bigger sign is used for more than one line of text. Down at the bottom, you will see a subtitles property box. You can type in any message you want here. Also change the font, the font size, bold it, italicize it, underline it, change the color of your sign if the sign is more than one color. Next to that is a stunt show box where you can change the entering animation, the animation speed, the exiting animation, the exiting animation speed, and also how long you want that message to remain on display. Next to that box is the contents background box. If you check use background, you can change what sort of animation plays in the background of your message. If your sign is only one color, it probably won't look too good with this animation checked. If it's more than one color, feel free to play around with it until you get something that you like. Next to that box is a box called Running Side Setting. If you enable it, you will put a border around your message. You can change what style your border is, the mode it's animating at, and also the speed of the animation. If you want your sign to display a second message, press Program and press Subtitle again. Now your sign will alternate between the two. You can do this as many times as you would like. If you would like a certain message to display at a certain time of the day or week, then click on the program. At the bottom left, you will see a box that says Broadcast Regularly. Enable that box, and you will see that you can enable the message on a weekly basis between certain dates or at certain times during the day every day. Besides subtitle, there are a few other options to choose from. One of them is animation, which is next to the subtitle button. Type your message in this box, and in the animation effect settings next to the properties at the bottom, you will see a box that says effect. Click on that box and you will have a list of animations to choose from. You can change the spacing of the letters, the speed of the animation, and how many times you want the animation to play. You can also change the font, the font size, and the style as well. If you would like to see a preview of your animation, you can press the Open Preview button. Next to the Animation Effects box is also the Content Animation box, and the border box. Space in between the top and bottom of the sign. With any 
sort of message on the sign, the bigger the better. So underneath the scrolling bar, you will see a plus sign and a minus sign. This is the vertical stretch option, which you can use to make your text bigger vertically or smaller vertically. But there's also no another plus and minus sign. This enables you to zoom out or zoom into your sign. Up at the top is the configure setting. You can change the brightness of your sign here. If you want to dim it at night, it's brighter. This syncs your sign's timer with the computer's timer to enable it to have the correct time. This is important if you're using a timer setting. If you don't use this, then your sign will switch its program at the incorrect time during the day. After you've programmed your sign with what you want it to stay, at the top left is a button that says save. Press on that button. Choose a location for you to save your file and press OK. This is important so that you do not lose your program. If your sign is wireless and you would like to send your program to the sign, up the top right is a button that says Send. Simply click that and it should upload your sign's program to your sign. If your sign is not wireless, next to the Send button is a U button. Plug a flash drive into your computer and press this button and it should upload the program in, into your flash drive. Take out your flash drive, plug it into your sign, and your sign will automatically detect the program and upload it. Thank you for watching.